Today is day one in the Outer Banks with my family. This is my little brother Nate. Hi. Um, Nate said, can we make movies while we're in the Outer Banks? And so I said, sure. I feel like we only make videos when we're on vacation, uh, but that's okay. Uh, yesterday we drove in, me and Natalie. We got here at like five, we ate some awesome fish tacos, played soccer with the kids on the beach, kicked the ball into the ocean, ran into the ocean in my jeans and full clothing. And, uh, and so today we're not gonna do that. Um, but this is also like the third time we're filming this intro because we're, it's like 6.30 in the morning and we're still trying to wake up. So we're gonna make some videos today, tomorrow, the next day, whatever. Um, yeah. Day one of the Marlene diet, green juice, and a bowl of cereal that I ate before I had the green juice. One thing that I like about the beach is that whatever room you stay in, it always has an alarm clock. And that alarm clock is all the bird sounds. You can just hear all of them, especially about 6.15 in the morning. They're like yelling, it's that bad. You can sort of hear them now, but they're not as loud. We were just looking outside and we saw the rocks moving. We found this little guy. A turtle. Nate, so don't come too close. Just trying to cross the street and probably get to the ocean, which is on the other side. Natalie brought some work with her. Uh, she's doing some sponsored shoots. She somehow convinced her mom to model for her. So what do you have? Um, it is what, carrot? Carrot, mango, lemon, orange. Rhubarb. And rhubarb juice. Rhubarb. In these, like, this is my first ever cup. shot of rhubarb juice. Oh yeah, we bought that at the market like last week. I saw you drumming with it, dancing around. So I have never been much of a beach person. Uh, I grew up going to like Ocean City where there's like thousands of people and you can't find a spot. But honestly, this is incredible. We're one of a couple families out on the beach and we've got a 45 second walk to the house. This cannot be beat. Okay, so where are we? We are in Duck, North Carolina at a place called Scarborough oh, Fair. Sure. It's a bunch of shops and little eateries. Um, kind of like fancier boardwalk shopping. 
Wait, gotcha. get, my mom wants to get in there. Oh, here we go. No, I was just, well, uh, you know. <laughs> well, no, we don't. <laughs> I was trying to photo bomb. Oh, okay. <laughs> Ava, what did you get? I got. Ava is kind of obsessed with, what are they, squishies? Yeah. She's kind of obsessed with squishies right now. So I got a panda bun. So this is my first time in Outer Banks, uh, but everything for Marlene is like a, a memory. <laughs> She's like walking by going like, oh, remember that time we went here? Remember that time we went there? How long have you guys been coming here? <laughs> I was just distracted by oh, nice. that weird guy behind us. Nate was about seven months old, so. It's like super traditions that we can't break. We have to go here. We have to go to the Italian uh, pastry shop and have a sfogliatelli. We have to go to the bookstore and we have to browse for a little while. And oh, definitely the surf shop and duck donuts. And then tomorrow, All today? Well, no, not necessarily. Maybe tomorrow we'll go to the lighthouse and the whalehead club. Okay. So like hardcore Goldsboro family traditions. We have an incredibly important squishy update. Um, why don't you just go ahead and Okay, so, so instead of the panda bun, I squished it and I got these pea thing things. So yeah, that's what I wanted to share with you. Even more important almost, Nate and I don't really understand the squishy thing, um, but it has a lot of value mm -hmm. to Ava. Mm -hmm. It's important to Ava, so it's important to us. Here's the rules. You get five shots in a row, then you gotta give the ring up. The winner gets some sort of prize. We'll figure that out. <laughs> All right, you always need that little practice to feel the weight. I think I got it. That was one or? One. Oh, too hard. Okay, right in between. Here it is. Oh, feeling it. Three. Focus. That right. last one hit. Nate, too. That's that close. close. It's close. I'm feeling it. Right. Ooh, that's a little hard, buddy. I'll see, they come running at this game. What? Three, five tries. That's what you get. Whoa, I thought that was it. No, nobody got it yet. It's not happening. We're going to be here for a while. Nate, what's your strategy here? Um, I just toss it and <laughs> hope for the best. Yeah. Basically. <laughs> one by one, we've all been bested. Close. I think I was the closest one, the $20. Where, where Probably. We just got to the parking lot, and right now it smells a lot like fudge. And we might be able to go and get some fudge, so that'll be a plus. A lot of things we've been noticing is that a lot of the shops have a duck incorporated into them somehow. Like this one's called Dockside in Duck or Duck Duck Rentals, something like that. And you're probably wondering why this town's called Duck. Well, it's pretty simple. There were a lot of ducks here and be a perfect spot to hunt ducks. We've just been here every single time. Where are we? Duck's Cottage. It's a coffee shop in Duck, North Carolina. This is like one of those like 
This is like Tradition. where we would come and just hang and have coffee and they have amazing pastries and read books. And Hollow it's kind of like, like a Barnes and Noble, but like grassroots Barnes and Noble. Like Noble's. Gilmore Girls. Yeah. If you were here, you could feel all this wind, this crisp, clean air. So we got back from Stars Hollow. Scarborough Fair. Scarborough Fair. And we had dinner. Well, we went to a grocery store. And we had dinner. And now Natalie and I are headed up to the beach at sunset to take a couple pictures and hang out a little bit. And then we're going to come back and watch a movie. All in all, a great first day of vacation. I mean, you really can't beat that. And Nate and I have been editing all day because he's got a bedtime, so he can't stay up till two in the morning reliving the whole day. So at this point, we're pretty much done with the edit, which is fun. And it was a lot of fun, and you guys worked well together. Yeah. Hear the ocean. You just can't beat that. Sun goes down listening to the waves. It's great. We needed a vacation. Did we go to the beach after we got married that summer? Maybe for like a day, a day in Jersey or something. But this is wonderful. All done on the beach. It's windy. It is windy. I hope you can hear. That's the day.